So we all know how great the ancient Greeks were. So great that many of us, including me, have tattoos and whole sleeves dedicated towards them and their mythology. Now, I had somebody reach out to me asking me for help to fill in a spot that they had that was empty on their Greek sleeve. And it really got me thinking to what could be put there that's different and not usually seen because we usually see a lot of this type of theme going around and it's usually of the same thing. So I thought of a great couple ideas and I sent it to him and then I thought about this video to help you guys out as well. So that's why in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of different types of ideas and photo references that you can use for your next Greek sleeve or tattoo that'll make it that much more different unique and special compared to anything else you're going to see out there now if you guys are new to the channel welcome in this channel we pretty much talk about all things that are tattoo related but most importantly my journey towards getting these amazing tattoos and working towards a full bodysuit now i got some great news that hand tattoo is coming very soon it's something you do not want to miss it's going to be a surprise to both you and me on what i get so go ahead join the community but let's get to today's video guys let's go Now the ancient Greeks are probably one of my most favorite ancient civilizations with probably one of the most popular mythologies out of all the rest. You got some famous figures like Hercules, Zeus, Hades, Poseidon, Medusa, just to name a few. And I got a couple on them myself as well and I love these tattoos more than anything. But I would love to hear your opinion. Why do you think the ancient Greek theme is so popular amongst so many people? And also, why do you wanna get this type of tattoo or this type of sleeve? But now let's talk about some popular references and ideas that people usually use a lot when we usually see with this types of tattoos and these types of sleeves. The first one is statues. A lot of people love to use statues. Hell, I use them myself. You got my Hercules there, you got my Zeus, you got my Poseidon. You got so many great different types of statues that you can choose from, as you guys can see from all the ones that are popping up on screen. The next set we have, and there's the second kind of one to the statue faces, is usually architecture and buildings. You can see I have the Acropolis, and you know a lot of people like to use buildings, ruins, to kind of incorporate into this type of theme and sleeve as well. Now, you're going to have a lot of empty space because, you know, these things are not going to be able to cover everything. And that's why this video is going to be the perfect thing for you because now we're going to be able to go in and fill those spots with unique different things that you don't really see a lot of on different types of sleeves in this type of theme. Now, I pretty much tried to think of everything that can do with the ancient Greeks and try to include them in this video for these reference photos and these ideas for you. So make sure to go ahead and pause this video and take a screenshot or give it a like so you can save this for future references for your next tattoo when you go ahead and give the ideas to your artist. So the first type of filler we're gonna talk about is architecture, but not the type of architecture we just talked about in terms of those main buildings. This is gonna be more like a sub architect and these ones fall under the, you know, the pillars. Pillars are great for, you know, those long empty spaces that you may have but also it works great because pillars, there are many different variations that the ancient Greeks used. And also there's a lot of great detail that you can find in them, especially on that top part of the pillar. The next one you can use is the amphitheater that is such a crucial and important part to the ancient Greeks that I don't really see a lot included in terms of a sleeve. But also the last one for this type of category is lettering, you know, the inscription carved into the stone. You can add those letterings into your sleeve as a little small filler, it would work great. Now this next category is food and drinks. And if you were royalty, you ate like a king and you see all the flavish foods that they had. They had a lot of fruits, a lot of cheeses, a lot of breads, and there are so many different types to kind of choose from in terms of, you know, incorporating into the sleeve. Now you can also go ahead and include olives, the olive branches, the olive trees, and also what I really like to see is those olive leaves. Those are very particular, they're very unique, and it's just, it's a nice little filler that I've seen used a couple times and it looks great. Now the last one for this category is wine. They were huge on their wine. They drank that probably more than water. So try to include some type of wine, wine glass or wine jug into this sleeve. It would look great and make it more unique. Now war was definitely a big thing to the ancient Greeks and something you definitely need to include in your sleeve as well. You got your shields, you got swords, spears, and mostly they're known for their helmets. Go watch the movie Troy. You can grab a lot of inspiration from that movie. But also you can't forget about their unique boats that they use, those long ones with all the paddles. And also you guys can't forget about the horse of Troy. That is something that I just absolutely love and something you definitely need to include. So my next category that I got for you is one of my favorites because there's so much you can do in terms of adding these into those empty spots and that is 
art. You have emblems, designs, patterns. You have that classic pattern that everybody knows and loves. It's called Meander or the Greek key. Or you can even add those secondary ones that you don't really see a lot of. The next thing you can really do is do filigree. It's an easy, classic, and popular fiddle that's always used. There are so many ways to make it so that it's more unique to you. You can have the artist draw his own. You can kind of edit it to you know make it different than somebody else's so there's so much you can do with a filigree the next one you can do and this one is great as well is you know add mosaics or drawings into the empty space that you have you can go big you can go small with them but my favorite one among the art category has to be the emblems that the ancient greeks use just screams ancient greek and i love this type now this next category is ancient mythology and this is probably the most popular amongst a lot of people you guys love the ancient gods you love the ancient creatures to name a few you have hydra pegasus medusa but then you have the gods poseidon zeus hades just to name a few you got all the women in there as well you can grab so much inspiration from this you can definitely play so much as you guys can see through all the pictures that are popping up on here to choose from and I definitely recommend you incorporate some of the mythology into this sleeve. Now currency and jewelry is the next topic that we need to talk about and this one is great because I feel like it is very unique in terms of their jewelry and their currency. Obviously you have the very popular laurel reef you know emperors would wear and obviously they had very unique jewelry as well but more than anything my favorite part about this category is the currency. The coins that they had they had many different heads, faces, writing on them, sizes. You can mix and match and it is great for putting it into big spaces that are empty and very small spaces that are empty. But then we have other miscellaneous things we can include as well. We have this special mechanism that they invented and used to predict astronomical positions in advance. You have the old one and the new one and also you can include the ancient map of Greece as well. Now this is probably my favorite filler out of them all because it just screams ancient Greece and it falls under both categories of art and food and it is pottery now i love this one because they don't really see it used in tattoos a lot especially in sleeves and with this there's so much variety of pottery that you can choose from with so many different sizes and designs along with that you can obviously go with the ancient designs that are already on there but you can also make it unique to your own and maybe have yourself or the artist draw up a specific design that you would like to include onto that piece of pottery. So there's so much you can do with this and the sky's the limit and that's why I love it and this is one of my favorite ones and one I actually recommended to the person that wanted that filler to begin with. And I think that's it. I think I did my due diligence in terms of finding all the things in terms of you know fillers that you can include from the ancient Greeks. But I would love to hear from you guys and let me know if I missed anything. I know there's probably one or two things that I missed. So go ahead in the comment section and let me know and help out anybody else that is looking for a filler that might actually work with them and their sleeve that they are going for to make it more unique and different. Now go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up and not only help support the channel, but also it'll be saved in your like video. And now you can come back to it very quickly for not only yourself in terms of remembering an idea, but also showing your artist maybe the idea that was mentioned or the reference photos that were used. Also, go ahead in the comments section and let me know how you like this video. Do you like a fillers video? Do you like it to be a series? Let me know the next type of theme sleeve that you would like to be done and I will do my research and find everything out for you as well in terms of what you can include in that theme. And also, go ahead and check out this video on how to build the sleeve. You can use a printer. It works great for me in terms of getting a good idea and you can definitely incorporate these type of fillers into it and it works out great in terms of giving you a better idea of the outcome of what it'll look like i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for giving me your time and i will see you next week like always justin out later guys